so welcome students to one more session of your alkene reaction right so now we are going to study the important reaction of alkene that is <clears throat> alkene plus nbs reaction okay what is nbs nbs stands for n okay bromo succi nemide okay n bromo succinamide is nbs so basically what is nbs where are we using nbs is a chemical reagent okay where am i going to use in chemistry let us see first this chemical reagent basically i am going to use wherever there is a radical substitution reactions the free radical substitution reaction wherever it is there i am going to use nbs i am going to i can use nbs in electrophilic addition reactions I can use NBS in electrophilic substitution reactions. So, what is the basic idea is NBS is a convenient source. It is a convenient source of bromine free supply, supplying source for supplying bromine free radical. So, wherever we require or the formation of bromine free radical, I'll be using NBS for giving us that bromine free radical. So, what is the formula of NBS? So, basically, just see NBS looks like this. CH2 linked to one more CH2 then CO again here CO and BR this is NBS N bromo succinamide this is your complex so here let me uh, take one example and understand how does it go and add so now you know NBS is used for what what so if I have to start with certain example here I am going to take unsymmetrical alkene right CH single bond CH2 CH this is your C, uh, CH3 done. right so now I am going to add NBS so NBS we have already learned the formula CH2 CO is your CO N and BR now this whole reaction occurs in the presence of H nu. I said free radical. Let us see how it forms a free radical in the mechanism also. So here <coughs> this H nu in the presence of light only this occurs. So what product do we get? Here first important thing it will go and add this bromine. I said NBS is a source of bromine free radical. This bromine goes and adds or attacks this allylic hydrogen and means allylic carbon containing hydrogen allylic hydrogen this so what product do i get i get ch2 double bond ch single bond ch to br now what will happen to this right there is one hydrogen isn't it this hydrogen comes and adds to this nitrogen so this hydrogen let us put in this way this hydrogen comes and adds to this this becomes ch2 joined to this co co and NH. So, what is this name of this compound? This is nothing but succinamide. Succinamide. This is N bromo succinamide and this is succinamide. Now, let us take one more uh, example and uh, let's take again. Suppose if I have this compound, one, let me take one more example too. I have a compound, okay. This is let me join. Now, what is this compound? This is a cyclo group. Cyclo, how many other? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, right. So, this is cyclohexene. Now, I am going to use NBS. And whenever you have NBS, H nu is compulsory. Okay, H nu or heat also not a problem. So, what did I say? I said it is a source of bromine supply, isn't it? Just see here. It, the bromine is going to attach to the position where it means this is your double bond leave this uh, bond and then it will join here remember that once again double bond leave this bond and it's going the bromine is going to join in which position here it is going to join you should not write adjacent to that we will see the mechanism then you will understand why it is like that so here this is a double bond this is where so what product do I get I'm going to get in this way double bond this is where your bromine adds and hbr is out along with that succinamide i said it has to come out nh that h goes in adds to this so nh is here co this is also co and means that particular thing this way so this is your succinamide succinamide is out now let us take one more example Suppose if I take example 3, now I have 
in my exam my art my teacher has given me this okay right like this now there is one substituent here now nbs h nu or heat what product do i get i said again this is your uh, double bond this is where it attaches here one bond you should leave see here this is a double bond you have left one bond then added here also this is the double bond you leave one bond and then add what product do i get i get a product like this hbr is out because that hydrogen comes out with this and as usual plus this whole compound that is succinamide is out succinamide okay i've written the spelling wrong succinamide is out this is the product right students now so remember you leave, you need to leave one bond and join now let us see the mechanism of addition of n bromo succinamide so when i have to speak about okay let us write the heading mechanism for addition of nbs n bromo succinamide now let us underline this mechanism word now, one carbon away from the double bond remember that always let us add where will the bromine okay bromine adds at one carbon away from double bond this is what is a concept correct remember right let us see the mechanism first so here nbs whenever i said it is a source of or it supplies bromine free radical i said isn't it that free radical formation you have to show so here first step nbs combines with hbr okay what does it do this particular thing bromine is out okay when it combines that nbs when it combines with hbr bromine is out so after that bromine is out <coughs> this bromine now starts see here this bromine is linked like this and let us uh, write 1 2 3 4 5 6 here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 now what happens here yes this i hope you understand this arrow students this there's a break it cleaves there in the presence of h nu and to form two bromine free radicals let's okay, one two now three four five. this is your free radical done yes very important see here there is a cleavage of the bond <coughs> homolytic cleavage of the bond because both are similar now there is a formation of this is what bromine there are two bromine so two bromine free radical is formed this is where it is the supply that supply of that now suppose if i take one example right i'm going to take this example then what happens here this is here um, cyclohexene now there is one hydrogen here so this is there is one bond here also there is one electron this is one electron now this bromine free radical attacks this one two three four five six this is your bromine free radical this bromine free radical attacks this because you should leave this double bond one carbon away after this double bond there's one bond here this is where it attacks isn't it when this attacks what how does it look first your free radical this becomes a free radical hbr is out correct because this comes out with this br one more and hbr now this exists in resonance resonance with one more structure that is this and free radical these two are resonating structures fine so now what will happen in the final stage okay let me take the same page in the final stage what will happen your cyclo it seems free radical combines there is one more bromine free radical here isn't it see here two one i have taken here i am going to take the second bromine free radical here so one two three four five six you need to mention this carefully right so this free radical combines this one combines with this what do you get Six. this is a second bromine free radical second bromine free radical so where does it form a bond now right one this left and this is where it attacks this is how it attacks that's why i said one bond left then only bromine reaction bromine goes and adds so this is your nbs reaction with alkene students hope the concept is clear mechanism is clear any doubts please let me know in the 
comment section thank you for watching students i'll meet you again with the next type of reaction of alkenes very important reaction that is ozonolysis reaction